Did you know the oldest living plant on Earth might be hiding in a secret corner of Tasmania? Don't just watch. Be part of the journey. Like and subscribe. It's called King's Holly or Lomatia Tasmanica. And scientists believe this ancient shrub has been cloning itself for at least 43,000 years, possibly much longer. Here's what makes it so extraordinary. This plant has never made seeds or fruit. Instead, it reproduces asexually by cloning, meaning new plants only form when a branch falls, takes root, and grows into another genetically identical copy. Every single one of its stems and leaves, all part of the same individual organism, alive since the last ice age. The reason it can't reproduce sexually? King's holly has three sets of chromosomes instead of two, which makes it impossible for the plant to create viable seeds. It literally doesn't do sex, as botanists like to say. But survival isn't easy. Only one cluster remains, hidden in a secret remote part of southern Tasmania, guarded carefully by scientists because of two huge threats. Root rot, a deadly fungal disease that could wipe it out, and even fire, or surprisingly, the lack of fire. Without occasional burns, other plants could choke it out. Tasmanian explorer Denny King first discovered this ancient marvel in 1937. Fewer than 500 stems survive today. Scientists have tried growing backup plants in botanical gardens, but King's holly is extremely delicate. Cuttings blacken and die easily, and attempts to transfer them often fail. Even after 20 years of trials, success has been limited. The solution? Maybe grafting it onto other plant roots. But that's still experimental. For now, this 43,000-year-old living fossil stands as one of the oldest living plant clones on Earth a fragile survivor of a world long vanished. Follow Fact Inquisitor for more ancient wonders hiding in plain sight.